Lake Orion Community Schools broke ground on a brand new elementary school that will replace Lake Orion's oldest elementary school. Thanks to a grant from T-Mobile, members of the community came together to build a new playground structure in Greens Park. Orion Township invited the community to come out for the always popular Bunny Bop event at the Orion Center. And the Orion Area Chamber of Commerce welcomed several new businesses to the community with a ribbon cutting ceremony. Hello everyone, I'm Stacey Calloway. I'll have those stories and so much more on this edition of OM TV News. Thanks to a voter-approved bond in 2018, the Lake Orion School District has been experiencing some massive improvements over the past several years. Now work is underway to replace Lake Orion's oldest elementary school. On Wednesday, April 13th, representatives of Lake Orion Community Schools gathered at Blanche Sims Elementary for a ceremony marking the beginning of construction of a brand new school. Assistant Superintendent Heidi Mercer welcomed those in attendance and acknowledged those who helped make this project possible. The district also had a design team that worked on the design of Blanche Sims for approximately two years, starting with touring elementaries across the state to take note of what we wanted in our new elementary and what mistakes we did not want to make. This group worked tirelessly to ensure this new facility would meet the needs of our students and staff. Blanche Sims Elementary is the school district's northernmost school and the only school within the village of Lake Orion. Opened in September of 1950, the school was named after teacher Blanche Sims, who taught for 50 years. She passed away in 1947 and is buried in Evergreen Cemetery. Well, this is certainly a great day in uh, the history of Lake Orion as we move from our district's oldest school to becoming our newest school. And uh, it's been some years since we've built a new building for, uh, uh, as an elementary or middle school. And so this is exciting, an exciting day for us. This construction project was made possible when Lake Orion residents voted to approve a $160 million, 10-year, three-series bond in 2018. The bond has allowed the district to make improvements to other existing schools and to construct the Early Childhood Center, which opened in 2021. The uh, commitment to the community when the bond was passed was for us to build safer, smarter, and stronger uh, facilities, and this certainly is an example of that. Um, as Jim mentioned, this is one of the oldest facilities that we have, and it will uh, soon be uh, the newest. So we'll continue to focus on the extended learning spaces and the secure spaces, the vestibules, and the other things that we can do to keep our students safe. They say that in any successful endeavor, it's not about the program, uh, or in this case, about the school. It's more about the people within that endeavor uh, and the program that really makes the work uh, and to be successful. While I believe this quote is very true, it will certainly help to have a new school uh, when we're doing all of the work. In this new school, we'll have larger classrooms, adaptive furniture, the latest technology, more uh, small group and collaboration opportunities, a STEM lab, intervention rooms, uh, a larger gymnasium, outdoor learning spaces, increased technology, better security, significant natural lighting, which we seem to lack uh, as of now, uh, and, extended, and extended learning spaces designed for positive instruction, collaboration, creativity, and discovery. Simply put, the new Blanche Sims building um, together with, of course, the highest quality of staff uh, and the support of the community and eager learners will be a recipe for success for many years to come for tremendous growth. Construction has begun on the property just north of the existing school, which allows the school to remain open through the 22-23 school year. The district is planning to open the new 68,000 square foot facility in the fall of 2023. Back in September of 2021, Lake Orion was one of 25 communities across the nation that received a hometown grant from T-Mobile. Recently, a small army of volunteers went to work, putting that money to good use. On the morning of Saturday, April 23rd, dozens of volunteers assembled in Greens Park to begin working on a new playground structure. Organizers were hoping to complete the project in just one day. 
Um, well, it's an entire play structure. So we have got some climbing areas, some rope areas, some slides. So lots of different options for kids of multiple ages. Yeah, this is so exciting. I couldn't sleep last night, actually, <laughs> just like thinking about this project and how it was um, actually going to happen. Um, you know, we've had the equipment sitting in our DPW yard for a couple months. We had it, we ordered it, had it delivered, but now to actually see pieces being put together. You know, if I look behind you, I can actually see posts and platforms being constructed and pulled together. And I'm, it's just really exciting to, to see the community rally around and have excitement about something. Way back in the spring of 2021, DDA Director Molly Lalone notified the village of T-Mobile's hometown grant. The application was submitted in June and in September, T-Mobile presented Lake Orion with a check for $50,000. T-Mobile, um, over the next five years, will be um, participating in you know, supporting small town community projects uh, with over $25 million available in grants. Um, up to $50,000 you can apply for uh, your small town. And we just want to invest in communities where we're bringing 5G into, um, and Lake Orion has to be, uh, is one of those. You know, this is a really huge deal for us. Um, I've been on the Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee for probably nine years now, and we've never been able to complete a project of this size. So to have the generosity of T-Mobile and their hometown grant to be able to complete a project that we have just dreamed about for a long time of having a, a structure here for kids of all ages um, means a lot, to, especially to those who have served on the Parks Committee and have just put in so many hours working to try to make something fun happen here. The Greens Park project is the first of two playground bills to take place in Lake Orion. The second will take place on May 14th in Children's Park in the Village. This upcoming project was made possible thanks to the Lake Orion DDA. Yeah, we, the existing structure is deteriorating, particularly the smaller toddler one. There are bolts protruding and it was becoming a safety issue. And then the, the larger structure too is showing its age. Um, protective coating chipping off, revealing you know, metal that's rusting, there's cracking in panels. And so rather than wait until it becomes so unsafe where we have to take it out and they don't have anything to play on, um, we prioritized and really worked hard to um, find a solution to get it replaced now. If you missed the chance to volunteer your time on the Greens Park project, volunteers will be needed to build the playground structures in Children's Park on May 14th. To get involved or for more information, contact Village Offices at 248-693-8391. Easter has come and gone, and there were plenty of opportunities for local children to hunt for eggs and enjoy some sweet treats. ONTV's Becky Andrus was one popular event that brought dozens of families to the Orient Center. On Saturday, April 9th, 150 kids, along with their family members, gathered at the Orient Center for the annual Bunny Bop. This event is put on by the Orient Township's Parks and Recreation Department. The day was divided into three different sessions to accommodate the popularity of the event. We have the Easter Bunny behind me. We have the 4-H uh, group that brought wild bunnies, so they're here as well. Uh, we have snacks and, of course, the egg hunt. A little chilly weather didn't stop the kids from taking part in the egg hunt. Hundreds of candy-filled eggs were spread out in the grass behind the Orient Center. Well, I like to make sure that everybody gets uh, an opportunity to hunt for eggs, so we do divide it down. We have um, ones and twos in one group, threes and fours in another group, and then the five and olders because they get a little bit more excited than the younger kids, so they're on their own. Well, the DJ is new this year. We um, tacked on to the end of our event a special needs egg hunt. So um, along with that came in the DJ. So that is new this year. A special thank you goes out to the middle school You Before Me group. The group was also in attendance, volunteering their time, helping with sign-in, passing out of snacks, and cleaning up after the event. From the Orient Center, this is Rebecca Andrus reporting for ON TV News. Thanks, Becky. Looks like everyone had a great time. Earth Day was celebrated globally on April 22nd, inspiring communities to help make this world a better place for future generations. Here in Orion Township, residents helped do a little spring cleaning. On the morning of Saturday, April 23rd, volunteers were invited to come to Camp Agawam off of Clarkson Road to kick off the sixth annual Orion Green Up. Orion Township provided trash bags and maps of areas that needed attention. They even provided lunch and a t-shirt to those taking part. It's just an opportunity for the community to come out and take care of Orion, give us something back. So spring is upon us with this beautiful weather today. And so what we do is people come in here, we assign projects throughout the community, give them trash bags, vests, 
and they just go pick up trash and take care of it. So. In addition to cleaning up problem areas, the township also plants trees on the same day. This will be our uh, second annual tree planting out at Camp Aguam, and it's part of our Tree City application for Orion Township. So Orion was designated a tree city, one of the very few municipalities um, to be awarded that. And it just means that we um, put more money back per capita to the community to take care of our tree canopy and just take care of our green space. So. Cleanup efforts will continue beyond a single day. Volunteers and local businesses have vowed to clean up areas of Orion Township throughout the week. Uh, we're just incredibly grateful for it. it. You know, I was, I grew up in Orion, and most of our volunteers are really have roots placed here, and so they want to take care of the community, and we're just very grateful for it. I, I don't know who would take care of it, and so it's. Um, everybody puts a little bit on their shoulders, and as a team together, we can, we can take care of this place. Los Angeles-based Mathnasium was founded in 2002 to help students build confidence in mathematics. The company began franchising in 2003, and recently a brand new center opened up right here in Lake Orion. On Thursday, April 21st, representatives of the Chamber of Commerce gathered at the shopping plaza located on M24 near Elizabeth Street to celebrate the official grand opening of the newest Mathnasium location. All right, three, two, one. Yay! Good job. Sure, I'm so grateful for all their help and you know every time I've called everyone's been so nice and it's just been great to kind of have that support behind me as I open and kind of <laughs> sift through this craziness of opening a business. So it's just kind of great to know that I have such nice kind people supporting me. Romeo resident Amanda Farrell was a K through eight teacher, but when COVID hit, she and her husband began to explore other opportunities. When she discovered Mathnasium, she felt it was a perfect fit and opened this Lake Orion location in mid-February. We offer, you know, both ends of the math area where, you know, if your child is struggling, we have a program that would work to kind of fill in those gaps. And then on the other end of that, if your child is excelling, our program can also kind of keep pushing them and advancing them through that with our learning plans that are individualized for every student. Just like what Amanda is trying to do here in the community is uh, bring enjoyment of math, uh, which is a subject that is um, it's difficult for a lot of people. It's easy for some people, but um, doesn't always get associated with fun. Uh, to bring that enjoyment and and a growth in confidence to communities all over the country, really all over the world. Uh, we've got locations in about 12 or 13 different countries, as well as about a thousand locations here in the, in the U.S. For more information, you can call 586-488-4947 or visit mathnasium.com slash Lake Orion. And finally, new businesses seem to be springing up all over Lake Orion, judging by the numerous ribbon cutting ceremonies taking place. ONTV's Joe Johnson helped welcome yet another new business in early April. On Thursday, April 7th, representatives of the Chamber of Commerce, Orion Township, and even the Rotary Club gathered on Baldwin Road near Friendship Park to celebrate the official grand opening of Graphic Takeover. Hang on, one, two, three. I can't even put into words how, how much they've done to support uh, me and Graphic Takeover. Uh, just businesses in general, it's, it's great because it is a, a second family to me, the way they support us. Owner Jimmy Johnson came to Lake Orion in 2003 and created Graphic Takeover in 2008 to offer a variety of printing and graphic services under one roof, only he didn't have a roof just yet. Then in September of 2021, he moved into this office building on Baldwin Road near Clarkston Road where he continues to offer his services. Services we provide on um, graphic design, printing, and branded yeah. merchandise, aka trinkets and treasures, <laughs> aka promo goods, <laughs> all that fun stuff you get. <laughs> Jimmy also is the creator of Where Living is a Vacation, a website and social media presence where he shares photos and tidbits about the history of Lake Orion. We're Living's Vacation, yeah, it's a um, history, it's a history Facebook page and we're Living's Vacation.com. It's all based on Lake Orion history, little 
tidbits of uh, what happened here, what happened there, and the story behind it. And it all started just as like a passion project of something I want to have a creative outlet for. And and it's evolved from there. It's people started liking it and like, oh, share more. So it's it's been great. For more information, visit graphictakeover.com or search for the Graphic Takeover page on Facebook. In Clarkston, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News. Thanks, Joe. And with that, we'll wrap up this edition of ON TV News. On behalf of the hardworking ON TV News team, I'm Stacey Calloway. Thanks for watching.